Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, some of you have uh, possibly uh, had some issues on Windows 10. If you've not accepted the extended um, updates offer and you are running totally unsupported uh, end of support right now, you might see things that um, others don't. So, for example, if you are in the extended updates, well, you're getting the updates and everything seems fine. But if you're not, not only are you not getting the updates, but you have this pause updates for seven days grayed out. And to add to insult, even if you're not supported, some people are reporting annoying Windows 11 installs that are trying to go through but that fail that get you know they come back over and over and over again including other types of updates and because this is grayed out pause updates you can't pause so you're stuck in some kind of loop now microsoft says that it is not because they want to annoy users they want people to move on they say it's because once end of support arrives, there's a set number of times you can use pause updates for seven days, and that counter is full, which means that it comes grayed out and it doesn't work. So whoever to believe on this, but apparently it annoys some users, not everybody, but some users. Um, if you're on Windows 10, uh, not supported or on zero patch or uh, whatever, you are on Windows 10 right now. Um, if you have issues or things like that that happen and, and is your pause updates for seven days grayed out like we see here, uh, let us know in the description below, will be uh, in the comments below. It'll be interesting to see exactly who has problems, who doesn't have problems. Does this uh, impact people on zero patch? If you're on zero patch and you are uh, you have not ex accepted the extended support for Windows 10. Do you have issues like that happening? Or is there problems? Uh, let us know. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.